So for today's project, we're gonna figure out how to get this oil off the floor and draw it out of the concrete. Yep, my 07 Odyssey is starting to leak something, apparently. Nothing like having a bunch of oil all over your nice clean floor, so let's see how we can clean this up. All right, I bought this here. What I like about it is it goes in and then turns into a powder. Let's give this stuff a shot. I think this is gonna be good. First thing we gotta do is, oh man, it's dark. It's dark oil. First thing we gotta do is just wipe up all the loose stuff. You know, one nice thing about an oil leak is that if you keep putting oil in, you don't have to change your oil anymore. Because <laughs> literally you're changing it one drip at a time. Just don't let your car run out of oil. Oh, it's really, really wet. Okay, once you finish cleaning up all the wet stuff, you want to take a broom and really sweep around it because what you don't want is to get a bunch of debris inside of the uh, the liquid that you're about to pour on it. So sweep this off. All right, we're gonna shake this stuff up. Get yourself a little bristle brush. Uh, this is kind of stiff. You're gonna work it in. You really wanna have a flat surface for this stuff. So it's level, nice and level. And I'm just working it in. I'm going to pour in some more. All right, that's the bottle. Now we're just gonna let this stuff dry. Okay, it's been a couple hours now. You can definitely see the, the oil starting to come up and uh, come into the, into the stuff. Some of this is, yeah, it's turned into a powder. I imagine, yeah, you can see where it's starting to dry out on the outside, but, but the middle is still pretty liquidy. Okay, it has now been, let's see, when did I start that? Saturday, sun, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So it's Tuesday now. And I kept coming back. I tried to do a time-lapse video, but um, it just would not, interesting, it's like chalk. Um, I tried to do a time-lapse video, but I, I can't have my phone sitting on there for three days. So it's taken several days to for this to dry out. Um, and it's possible that I, you know, poured too much, who knows. So, but it's doing what it's supposed to do where it starts to, once it draws it out, it then dries it out. Okay, I've got an ice scraper here. 
uh, that I'm not using, mainly because it's 60 degrees outside. Let's see how this stuff scrapes. I say this stuff did a pretty good job uh, taking out the grease stain. You know, there's really no oily residue, you know, other than it still looks sort of off color, which I'm not as concerned about, but I don't want to like be tracking oil into the house. So that was really my number one concern. Apparently my van has an oil leak. So before I can get that fixed, um, I want to prevent more oil from actually dripping on the floor. So I've got a solution for that. All right, since I can't fix my leak right now, uh, I've got this as a potential solution we're gonna try out. Essentially, it is a fabric on one side and a rubber on the other side. And with no soak through, absorbs the leaks, protects the surface, so we'll give this a shot. Okay, so if we got our area of stain. This is big enough of an area. Oh yeah. So that pretty much covers the entire stain and it's got that rubber backing so it really shouldn't be, really shouldn't be moving around. I'm just getting some of the, the kinks out. Yeah. So that'll at least provide a temporary solution until I can get the oil leak fixed. What I'm gonna do is monitor the van and see uh, how bad it's leaking, how often I'm gonna have to put more oil in it, uh, and that'll determine whether or not I wanna spend the money to, to fix it. I suspect that it's probably a, a valve cover gasket where it's leaking, but to get to the valve cover is not easy, so um, we'll see. But this will at least do a, a decent job of protecting the floor. I'll put a link to both items, uh, the chemical and the, the mat uh, in the description was a very inexpensive and easy way to, to clean up a mess. I'll definitely use it again. So thanks for watching.